Okay, so welcome. Just a couple of notices that we have to share with you. The first is that um, you can join us this coming Tuesday night is our home group connect. So that's the last one of the series. You can join us as we chat about um, what's been going on in the sermons and you can just connect with us a little bit deeper. Even if you don't currently belong to a small group, why don't you join us for that? It's just a great time of connection um, and really connecting with people. And then on Thursday evening, we have Dare to Love, which is um, at the hospitals. They, we're going to pray with um, a whole team of people from Real Life Church and from some other churches. They go and pray and worship at the hospitals. And they also just give little gifts to the, the nurses that are coming off duty and going on to duty. Um, and so really just blessing the, the, the frontline workers. And so if you'd like to join us this week, it's at Sunning Hill Hospital. Um, and so won't you get in touch with us? And we're going to launch our Zoom poll now, and you can just sign up for that and we'll get hold of you um, with more details. But it's at six o'clock on Thursday evening. Um, and you're welcome to join us there. And then also just a reminder um, about our in-person services. We're excited to meet with you again. So the regulations have not changed um, as far as we know for right now, but we are going to start meeting in person at our Ravonia um, campus this coming Sunday, the 28th of February. So we're just going to make sure we have a completely separate entrance for the other church um, that meets upstairs and will meet downstairs. And so we're going to continue, um, but it, there is a very small number of people who can attend. So it's only 50 people. So I'll be sending out that Google link for your screening form during the weekend. So if you are going to join us, please make sure that you indicate um, that you'll be coming so that we know we only have 50 places and um, that we can accommodate people to come. So please, please come and join us there. We really look forward to seeing you in person. Our online services will remain um, online at half past nine and you're welcome to join us there. We also just really want to appeal to you that if you do come to in-person services, we will do everything we can to make sure that all the regulations are in place, that you're screened, that you're social distanced. There won't be any catering, so please bring your water bottle or your juice or your coffee or whatever you want to bring with you, but there won't be any catering just to avoid the um, cross-contamination and all of that. But please also just note that we need you to please follow the regulations about social distancing. At, at our Ash Wednesday service, um, I think people were so happy to see each other that there was quite a lot of hugging going on and, um, and people really just not keeping that social distance. And please remember that other people may not feel as safe as you do. Um, and so please just respect people's distance and don't engage with people um, and keep your distance from them. We know it's hard. And we know that we want to really show love to people um, and to connect with them. But please make sure if you come to in-person services, we have to ask you to please adhere to the regulations. You have to wear a mask and you have to stay away from people. If you really can't do that, we know it's really hot. We know masks are uncomfortable then please rather stay in your living room um, and connect with us online. And we'd love to, to do that and to, to see you there. For the Pretoria side, we will be meeting as of the 1st of March. Um, and we're going to be meeting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll get back to you with exactly where we'll be meeting. Sorry, not the 1st of March, the 7th of March, the first Sunday of March. Um, but we'll let you know where that's going to be. And we look forward to connecting with you as well. And then thank you so much to everyone who continues to give so sacrificially. Um, and we know that. We couldn't do the work that we do um, and we wouldn't be able to continue to serve um, you or the community without your faithful generosity. And so thank you so much for your sacrificial giving. If you would like to contribute um, and to give your tithes and offerings, please find our banking details on our website and on the church online page. Okay, so we're going to go across for a time of worship now. Um, won't you prepare your hearts for that and really just worship? I know it's just on a screen. It's not the same as being in person, but your declaration of your heart is still the same as you sing it out to God. Um, and the bonus is no one has to hear how off key you are. You, you can just sing it out to Jesus and to know that he hears you and that he is there with you. So let's worship together. <laughs> 